Hello, hello, y'all, and welcome back to another video where today, if you could not tell by the title and or this current screen that you're staring at, we are going to be doing the ugly to beauty challenge, all of that being in quotations because all bodies are beautiful and ugly to beauty is obviously a very subjective measure, but I want to do a little like snoopy snoop at first before we get started because I was watching Lil Simsy's most recent ugly to beauty challenge video that she did and the last like a uh, little snippet of it she brought up an ugly to beauty sim from the gallery and I believe it was actually this this hamster guy right here and when she took off the hamster outfit it was like a green overweight sim and my instant response was interesting that the sim is overweight so I did a little snooping because I was curious about how many Ugly to Beauty Sims are overweight, either start out overweight or are um, made overweight at their end result. And obviously scrolling through here, most of them are actually like the super skinny ones. However, none of the end results are overweight. Like all of these are thin. And so I was like, it's loading. And so I was like, that's interesting that most of these sims aren't overweight. And so in my head, I was like, you know what? I am going to make an ugly to beauty sim who is beautiful, but also large because all bodies are beautiful. Doesn't matter your size or your shape or whatever the case may be. As long as you are happy and healthy and like living your life to the fullest, you're beautiful. So. I am going to destroy the norms because heck the norms. So this is the sim I ended up grabbing because she's very skinny, unnaturally skinny, but well, we're gonna take that name away. Um, Amina Teague, that's a weird last name. Jacobson, perfect, I love it. I can actually pronounce that on a more regular basis. So if you don't know what the Ugly to Beauty Challenge is, the Ugly to Beauty Challenge is a challenge in which you take a sim who is quote unquote ugly and you can't use any presets or anything like that and you make them beautiful so that is what we're gonna do with miss amina here today so first of all we're gonna decrease the size of her little eyeballs actually no we're gonna fix that let's see we are gonna nope not the eyebrows um you can can you go away here can i make her neck smaller i think i just have to make her head bigger let's do that okay um you can't use any presets which is what I guess like tests people's ability to do the challenge because it's like kind of hard, I guess, to make changes to things when you can't use presets, which I mean, to be perfectly honest, I don't really use a ton of presets in mine. Sometimes I'll like start out a sim with a preset because I like, um, can you not go up anymore? Okay, I guess I'll just pull this nose down. Um, because I just want to start off from like a very simple like baseline. Um, but other than that, I don't really use presets. Can you go in please? So we're just gonna work on her a little bit here. And then I'm also going to add in what is it what is it ah remove those ea lashes because i don't need those i mean so i myself am not a plus sized lady i used to be sort of plus sized when i was in college um i was overweight when i was in college and i feel like why can't i get hurt there we go, this is what I want. I don't know why I had such a hard time figuring that out. It's because I'm trying to talk and do this at the same time. Can you, no, I don't want to tilt the nose. I want to decrease the size of her bridge. There we go, that's what I want. Um, I gained a lot of weight in college as a lot of people do, but I feel like it's not something that a lot of people, I feel like it's kind of like this running joke that, you know, the freshman 15 and all that kind of stuff. And you know, it did kind of affect my health a little bit. Um, I got, pretty high cholesterol in college, but I don't know if that was necessarily weight or if that's just like college diet food. Could be kind of a mixture of all of that, but you know, we're here now. But I mean, I live in a theory that as long as you are healthy, then it's fine. <laughs> like you don't have to be some kind of like 
health nut in order to be healthy, if that makes sense, you know? Like, you can just kind of be who you want to be, you know? All right, let's fix this body that she has going on. So we're gonna, we're gonna pull those up, make these a little perkier, pull that waist out, pull those thighs out. We are going to bring up the weight slider for her, pull that in just a little bit. Well, you know what? She can keep that bum. You can keep it. These feet are tiny. Let's give her some normal sized feet. All right, beautiful. You know, she's a plus size diva. I don't even know what I was talking about, but I like to smash the norms because norms are stupid. So here we are, friends. We are smashing norms and we are making a beautiful plus size lady because beautiful plus size ladies exist because everyone is beautiful. As long as they're beautiful on the inside, that's all that matters. You know what? We'll keep the big boobs. Go for it, honey. You do you. All right, let's go back to the face. I'm not sure if I'm super satisfied with her face. I want to bring it out a little bit. There we go. Okay, so now let's start putting some extra stuff on her. Good, we're in this. So let's give her some lashes because lashes make all the difference. I just want to, hmm, I'm not sure if I'm super pleased with her lips at the moment. Let's go for some hair. So, hmm. <laughs> I do really like this hair. I'm a big fan of that hair. I've recently got a couple new textured hairs that I am interested to try out. That looks nice. I do like that. I'm not sure if that's the vibe I'm going for. I kind of want her to have like really long hair, I think. It's not quite textured enough for my taste. Uh, let's do custom content and see what we have going on here. This is a really nice hair. I'm a big fan. And then we have an extra poofy version. Kind of think, I'm kind of feeling the extra poof. We have like a nice bun, double bun. You know what? Let's go for extra poof, my friends. I want to make her eyes a lighter color. Let's go for this really light color. And then, no, no, I can't make her face any longer. Let's do that. Can't really get her side profile with this hair. That's fine. Um, let's see. I just don't know what it is about her that I'm not super feeling just at the moment. Maybe. Let's put some makeup on her and see where it goes from there. All right, that's cute. I'm actually a fan, I think. Let's see, what kind of skin details do we have? Cause I'm feeling maybe some skin details. So well, let's see what we got here. Some freckles. Some freckles would be cute. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. I feel like there's a lot of freckles though. What, which one are these ones? Maybe we'll go for these freckles. Um, take out that, give her the same eyes. I feel like her lips need, maybe her bottom lip needs to be bigger and maybe her top lip can be smaller. I think I'm more into that. Yes. Okay, go back to skin details. Wait, let me make sure. Yeah, let's just give her some normal teeth. Skin details. Give her that. I like that. All right, let's do that. All right, now let's do outfits. What style is she gonna be? Well, first, let's just, can we just take this off? Cause it's kind of distracting. <laughs> For being perfectly honest, it's kind of distracting. All right, I can pull her boobs out a little bit. Give her a nice little pooch. That's like an unrealistic butt. I'm sorry. I mean, probably not, but I feel like it's kind of an unrealistic butt. So, you know, she is a beautiful, beautiful woman and she is not afraid to show her figure because it's beautiful. So let's do, I'm pretty sure I literally like just used this shirt on another, oh, on the Caliente sisters. That's who I used it on. Pretty sure my oven is making noises. It's probably fine. Oh, that's really cute. But I actually really like that shirt. So I'm gonna keep using it. That's nice. I like this one. All right, we're gonna do that. All right, she's gonna, she's gonna be a mom jeans kind of gal. You know, she's a woman after my own heart because I love me a good pair of mom jeans, you know? They are just so comfy and just, ooh, I love them. Actually, you know what? Where's my Discovery University shoes? Because those are the best shoes. Boom, here we are. Yes, accessories, give her some socks because right now shoes with no socks is kind of gross. Let's just be honest here. <gasps> Pink, beautiful, all right rings um she's definitely gonna wear nails and apparently pink is her color so give her now some pearls seems a little, little extra for this kind of outfit but you know sometimes i feel like the bracelet option in this game is kind of lacking are those chains that's what she's wearing 
It's probably supposed to be like a rope or something, but it's fine. All right, now let's do some formal wear. I'll do, I'll probably speed through a couple of these outfits because that just makes life easier. Girl, what is this cowboy hat? You can get that off your head right now. There are just not enough lipsticks for like deeper scone, deeper scone, am I hungry? Do I want a snack? Deeper toned women because the ones that they added to the game, like these ones are really great. Like don't get me wrong, but they're not enough. You know, they're just not, they're just not enough. I mean, it's just how it is. It happens, nobody's perfect, but they could definitely stand to have some new additions to the deeper skin tone world. Speaking of skin tone, so I downloaded some different skin tones and I feel like after looking at the skin tones in the game for so long, custom content ones look weird, but they are more like what, pe even like the light skin tones, I mean, every single one of them, but I feel like after just staring at them for so long, like I know that this is gray and terrible because I just, I mean, I know that I'm, I'm not, I'm not blind to it. Um, this is one that she was, um, but they look weird now staring at them, even though I know that they're not actually weird. They just look weird because I've been staring at in-game skin tones for so long in my life. It's interesting. It's interesting uh, side commentary, you know? I just, you know, you know. Nah. Okay, so I think we're done with Miss Amina, our ugly to beauty. Let me grab her original for you guys. You can load sometime today, it's fine. Oh, let's see. Uh, okay, let's place this and we are going to merge. So this was her before. I mean, she's stunning, look at her. Did I change it? No, I didn't. Okay, it's the same skin color. Oh my God, see, I can't, I can't with the thing. This was her before and this is her after. Stunning. I'm gonna keep her. Oh, I'm gonna change her treats. Well, I mean, these are fine, I guess, but I'm gonna change this trait. See, it's like she's stunning. Like, you don't have to be some kind of skinny legend. You know what? Pull that out, honey. What are you doing? You don't have to be like some kind of skinny freaking legend to be a beautiful, beautiful person. And, you know, we deserve some more plus size notability in the game. It's so easy to make plus sized Sims but I feel like our natural tendency is to kind of make them thin. Like it's just, I think it's just a natural tendency that we all have. And I'm not saying that I am immune to that tendency because I'm definitely not. But I felt like, you know what, after, I don't know what kind of bug just bit me, but you know, I'm glad it did because she's stunning and I love her and I'm gonna keep her. She's gonna be in my game. 
But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this installment of the quote, ugly to beauty challenge, end quote. I hope that you guys like her as much as I do. I think it was, I mean, it was essentially just the ugly to beauty challenge, but I'm not going to sell myself short that it's important every now and again to recognize the disparities that exist in our society um, and just the way that we view the world around us and how we tend to put our own expectations and all of that kind of stuff on ourselves, but not only us, our sims as well are just an extension of ourselves, so they are not immune to it. But yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I would love to make more beauty, uh, beauty, oh my god, I would love to make more ugly to beauty challenge videos and other cast challenge videos. I gotta break those standards that we all have down to nothing because they don't exist. Who is she? Nobody. We are all stars. We are Jeffrey Star. We are Patrick Star. You're a shooting star. You can be whatever kind of star you want to be. You could be Amina Jacobson here, who is a star. Stunning. But yes, again, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and comment all of that amazing stuff. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye, guys.